Yo, today we had a cover shoot for Double XL. You know what I mean? To touch on my partnership with Telescope. We in the top of the hills. Basically, we on top of the world. As I see it in my eyes, and the streets see it, and I think Interscope see it. We gonna come in here in the next three years and, you know, be the biggest label and create the biggest partnership with music. We had every label in the game coming to us, every chairman in the game coming to me, calling my phone directly. You know, we like the number one draft pick if it was the NBA. Also, you know what that mean? Everybody gonna put their best foot forward. You know, we ain't doing no none, no shit under eight figures, and we ain't talking no ones and twos. So. You know, this wasn't no little thing, this is a big deal, you know what I'm saying? So the top of the top had to come out and make that phone call to have these type of discussions. These chains represent all my artists. You know, CMG, we the brand that break brands. You know, I look at all my artists like, you know, they my business partners, you know, and if they have brands, I support that, you know what I'm saying? We all a team. Whatever my artists with, that's what I'm with. That's how I'm rocking, that's how I was raised, that's how I was taught. So, you know, I wrote these chains today on this cover because I think it's important to me that if I'm closing big deals, they closing big deals. We all closing big deals. So this, this ain't no regular, no regular label shit where, you know, artists come in and just sign a paper and, and go in the studio and rap. It's like a lot of hustlers coming to the table and partnering together and putting their vision on the table and we all building this thing together. You talking. Well, money bag, yo, you're talking 42 Doug, ESTG, uh, Block Boy JB, um, Black Youngster, yeah, Big Boogie. You know, at CMG, we got branches, you know what I'm saying? I think that's the unique thing about us. When I say we got branches, you got money bag, yo, you know what I'm saying? Which is his own branch. We have partnership with my, my guy Head and Enders, and they got their thing with Big 30. All this shit a branch. We all a family, you know what I'm saying? And you got Black Youngster, which is Heavy Camp. You know, that's a branch. That's how you get me going in the picture. You, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we the brand that break brands. You know what I'm saying? We partners with everybody and we hustle together. It's like one big family or one big tree. It's like I'm a plug, you know what I mean? And that's how I look at it. And I want to make sure I'm with the right partners. You know, seeing Money Bag album being number one in Billboard, not only once, but twice. You know, it's a, it's a, you know, we, we take a small break and we celebrate, you know, me, him, my partner here, the Endless, the whole team, everybody on the staff, because everybody put in work in a scope. Everybody put in a lot, a lot of work to make this shit happen. So we're going to, you know, we're going to stop for a minute and pop a few balls and, and, and chill, and then I'm going to hit everybody else the next day, like, yo, let's get back to it, because this shit ain't enough. Not to take away from nothing we've done, but the vision is so big and so great for all of us that their, their one chart position ain't the end goal. Speaking on Black Youngster, you know, this is my little brother, man. You know, he was able to come up under the wing and, you know, I gave him all the game and the information he needed, you know, to create his branch, you know what I'm saying? His branch is heavy count. You know, he doing his thing, he hustling, you know, he in the studio, he building his company. You know, 4 2 Doug, you know, shout out to Doggy, man, you know. I think 4 2 Doug, like, mega star, you know what I'm saying? Just a natural. I don't even know if he fully know it, you know, how big of a star he is yet. You know, ESTG, ESTG like remind me of uh, what I was doing and what Jesus was doing and what, you know, Boosie and, you know, all those guys that really, really come from the pavement were doing in this shit. Like, I think it's another word that's, that's rawer than the word raw, and that's what he is, you know what I'm saying? Block Boy JB, you know, he just make me want to have fun, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I listen to the music, when I see the, you know, the dance moves and just, you know, you know, and it becomes something that's special to hip hop. I can't wait till the world see what Big Boogie is, you know what I'm saying? I feel like um, the world ain't seen Big Boogie full potential yet. I think Boogie is, is, is just special, he have a sound of his own. I'm super hands-on with, with everything in this business. It ain't a marketing plan go out on one of my artists that I'm not involved in. It ain't a promo schedule that they, they go out on one of my artists that I'm not involved in. I don't sleep. You know, this, this is a 24-hour thing to me. And understand when I say that, that, you know, the artists make the decision on 
they music and, and how they shit looks and the aesthetics of it. But you know, it ain't, we just passing it off to a label or, or nothing like that. You know, I'm making sure we crossing all the T's, dot all the I's and then everything is right. I'm staying up four, five in the morning, making sure this shit be the way it's supposed to be. Like some of these executives that are running these companies, you know, they don't understand the artists. You know, that's why I'm able to be on both fields because I, I played both seats. I was an artist first. So I think it always give me a, um, a tighter bond with the artists and, and I respect the artists. So I'm never gonna do no sucker shit, no foul shit, no dishonorable things. You know, even for money or for business or for nothing because I respect the artistry first. I mean, business people I look up to, you know, it's many of them, you know. I think it started with Birdman and Slim, you know. You know, I like to get those guys a lot of credit because, you know, they were the first ones that allowed me in the room, you know, on a high level. They allowed me to be around certain conversations, around certain phone calls. You know, I travel with them around, you know, a lot of places. Of course, you know, my relationship with Jay, which is, you know, it's like mentorship on a whole nother level, not even just music, just business in general. And it can go down to, you know, a hustler from my city who I know put in a lot of work in the streets and beat the, the system. You know, he's somewhere right now living in the suburbs with his family and started a business and, and transformated his shit without going to the federal penitentiary. I look up to him too. Everybody, you know, I studied him. Even if I wasn't able to work closely to him, I, I studied him so I feel like I was close to him. You know, so I prepped myself for this position. But I knew, you know, 10, 15 years ago, I knew I'd be sitting in this seat. So I had to prep myself for this shit. The future for CMG, we the next Cash Money. We the next Rockefeller. We the next Death Row. We the next No Limit. That's the future for us. Hey, this your boy Yo Gotti. You watching Double XL. Tune in to our brands, man. All my artists, all my business partners, everything we rocking with, we hustling together. We want family, we want tree. Shout out to Interscope. Let's get this money.